Hi guys, how are you? This week in Polish we've got four manicures to talk about, but first we have some housekeeping. So it is Mother's Day this weekend, so happy Mother's Day to everyone who is a mom out there. And these cute cards and flowers are from Lucy because she's a sweetie pie. Um, also, she is here. She is in the other room playing on my phone and loving it. <laughs> but she will come and say hi in a little bit at the end of the video. The last thing is there will not be this week in Polish next week because I will be gone. I'm going to be at the indie shop in Anaheim with Phoebe and I am so excited to go. We are going to have such a blast. Are you going to be coming and hanging out with us? I cannot wait. So all of that news out of the way. Now let's get into the polish. This week we had a whole bunch of videos. <laughs> I swatched and reviewed two different collections for you guys. The Moonshine Manny Incredibles The Supers collection and that one is up on my channel as well as the Aurelie Neon Earth Summer 2018 collection. I've been playing with both of those all week so spoilers you're gonna see a lot of those. <laughs> So the first manicure that I have to show you guys is from the Orly Neon Earth collection. I did a whole review. We were super busy this week when it came to videos. I was. So I didn't do a bunch of nail art, but this one, because I reviewed the Orly Neon Earth collection, I just got the Neon Earth collection, and I love the Neon Earth collection, and I wanted to put them all together in a manicure because they're so cute together. I really like the palette of the colors oh it's just fantastic so I started with a base of this this is desert rose and it's the rose of the collection obviously it's really actually kind of bright it is not what I have on but it kind of is the same color apparently I was leaning towards this color this week but it is so pretty and when I put it on it was so bright even though it's kind of dusty which makes me think fall. I really like it for the summer. This was my base. I did a flower design like the one that I did last week on the bright yellow. It was the exact same because I wanted to do a nail tutorial. I know nail tutorials aren't like the most popular. They're my lowest viewed videos, but if you like them, you like them and I enjoy making them. So I'm going to keep making them. But if you're interested, keep an eye out for that video. I still need to edit it, but it's in the works. So my base was this and then I drew the flowers like I did on the yellow. So the base was Desert Rose and then I drew flowers with these five colors which are the rest of the collection. It was like I said the same as the yellow one last week but different colors. It's such a fun design to switch up the colors. That's one of my favorite things to do is the same thing, different colors. It looks totally different, completely different, but it's so cute. And then I couldn't stop. I had to put this one on. This is the bright crazy neon from that collection and it's called Blazing Sunset. My favorite by far my favorite and so good. Orly is magic when it comes to neons. This is one coat. Like I do too because it's just a smidgen bit shy of being opaque. Just a touch but no white base, no nothing. Neon, one coat. Like I, why can't everyone do it? Anyway this is pink, but it leans orange. In my pictures, it looks bright neon orange red. It isn't, it's way more pink, but neons and cameras never get along. So this is gorgeous. I then did a gradient. The glitters I used for the gradient, this is a Sally Hansen Extreme Wear, and it's just like, matte hex glitters and there's light blue medium blue and black this isn't a good glitter if you're just swiping it on in my opinion it's kind of base heavy and 
it's not very good. But when you're doing glitter gradient, you're using a sponge anyway, so I didn't think it was terrible for that. I wanted to add some sparkle, so I put this on top, and this is Snow Globe. It's just that like iridescent, translucent kind of flippy glitter, and I really like it. This is a fantastic glitter to put over anything, and it's translucent, so it doesn't necessarily change the polish or the manicure. It just adds a little bit of extra something, because you know I love my sparkle. Anyway, that manicure was super fun, but the star of the show was definitely this beautiful thing. Then I was playing with the Moonshine Manny polishes for the Supers collection. This isn't part of the Supers collection, but I received it at the same time. This is the Anaheim Indie Shop polish that Phoebe created and it's called You Make It Wet themed after Splash Mountain. It's a bright 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 like aqua blue color and it's a jelly with crazy amounts of like unicorn pea shifty shimmer and gorgeous flakies. These flakies that I cannot get enough of. They're fire in the polish kind of flakies and they're purpley pink shifting. I love blue and pink. I love blue and gold too, but oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Also, mattify it. Alright, last but not least is this beauty that I have on right now. This is one of the China Glaze Glass Flex. And I have said before, but it's been a while, China Glaze Glass Flex are the best polishes ever. I love this finish. This is Ahoy, and the other polishes that I love that are the Glass Fleck, there's Watermelon Ride and Strawberry Fields. There's one that's Cherry something I don't have. There's a whole collection of them. This was not part of that collection, but it's so pretty. It's pink leaning red. It's like a strawberry raspberry pink color, and it's so sparkly. It's a jelly, so I got it opaque in three-ish coats. Oh dear. Uh, you might need a... Uh, I don't know. I'm good with it in three. It's still just a touch, touch not quite opaque. But I'm still happy with it in three. This I got off of Skyline Beauty. They were having a clearance sale. I found out about thanks to Angie Willy, not thanks to her because I ordered some polishes. <laughs> but I got this gorgeous thing for $1.50. I mean, you can't beat that. Alright guys, those are the manicures that I have to share with you. Like I said, I'm not going to be here next week. I will try and film some kind of video to put in place of this one, but I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, that is all the polish that I have to share with you. Lucy would like to say hi, so here's Lucy. Alright guys, that's all the polish that I have to share with you. What did you think? What have you been wearing and loving? Are you going to the indie shop? If you are, I am so excited to see you. I cannot wait. I am thrilled. It's gonna be a blast. It's my first polish convention of any kind, so I might be a little bit overwhelmed, but that's okay. It'll be overwhelmed in all the good ways. So if you're going to the indie shop, I will see you there. If you aren't, I will see you next week with another video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you soon. Hi.
that's crazy.